This is Chantal Lace and Ariana. We are at webringit.com. We just finished doing a live photo shoot for the audience of uh, catfightlive.com. And you girls did a fantastic job. We just had a viewer tell us that the actual photo shoot that was staged, which is the only kind of stage work we do at uh, webringit.com, he said that the photo shoot was better than some of the alleged real stuff that you can find on the internet. So that's pretty cool. I believe yeah. that. You girls did good. I like the belly punching in that. <laughs> it sounded pretty awesome, and it looked really awesome. Thanks. Um, what was your favorite part about the photo shoot? Being breast mothered. Breast mothered. I think so. I think that's it. Yeah, and we boobies in my face. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a good day. Yeah. I think either way, um, boobs mother or ass mothers would have been perfect mm -hmm. because you girls both have amazing boobs. And amazing asses. Bam. Boom. <laughs> so you can't go wrong with that. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, this is going to be kind of repetitive okay. because you answered some of these before. Um, how long have you been wrestling? We'll start with Ariana. Uh, seven or eight years. Seven or eight years. And how about you? About 15 years. About 15 years. Wow. Double me. So you have, yeah, a, you know, twice the experience as Ariana, and we're doing competitive matches later on today. Doesn't bode well for me. It doesn't bode well. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes experience does win over, but sometimes youth wins over. Uh -huh. We'll have to see. It should be a good match either way. Yeah. It will be a good match, especially with them titties. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys uh, train in any type of martial arts, boxing, anything? Um... My primary focus is boxing and Aikido, but um, I do train at a mixed martial arts gym, um, Superior Fighting Academy, um, at superiorfightingacademy.com. Um, Shout out! Yay! Plug, plug, plug. plug. <laughs> and um, for any of those interested in boxing, I'm bringing back the old website badapple.com, which is all female boxing. Very cool. cool. Yeah. Boxing's fun. Oh, I it's love tough. boxing. That's where I started. That was my, my initia initiation. <laughs> hey, we all got here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And you do real boxing. That's real boxing, right? Real competitive. competitive boxing. Nice. Is it topless? Yeah. Um, some of it is, some of it isn't. Ooh, Depends nice. on... The girl. Yeah, we gotta respect the girls' boundaries. That's yeah. always a good thing. Because you're saying that because I'm here. <laughs> it works. And Ariana, you have a website. Yes. Too. Um, what can that, we find on that? Um, I do everything from competitive to fetish to fantasy fighting. It's spectrumcustomerquest.com. And as long as there's no happy endings, we'll do anything. That's why it's called Spectrum, because it's a broad spectrum Ooh. of female fetish fighting. Very nice. Very cool. And you train, uh, you do... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And you've been training that for just about the same amount of time you've been wrestling? Yeah, I had to take a few years off total from broken nose, torn ACL, and fractured jaw. But Are, Were those all injuries caused yeah. by... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian, woo, yeah. so you're legit, real, real yeah. deal. I should be like a brown belt by now, but, you know, injuries take precedence. And you get, did you get those injuries... Um, sparring or in competitive um, um, tournaments? No, I got them sparring. One oh. of the torn ACL, I actually got drilling. Oh, no. Yeah, well, knees are a pain. Like, they'll do funky things at weird times. Oh, but. yes, they will. Well, we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you. Um, does, do you guys find that uh, the wrestling is comes in handy or any of your training in martial arts comes in handy in your real everyday life? Um, yes. I think and so. And why too, is yeah. that, Chantel? Because I'm a bouncer. She's a bouncer. <laughs> and um, I'm at um, Dive Bar in Sacramento. That's the name of it. Yeah, Dive, Dive Bar. Bar. Tell us why it's called Dive Bar. Uh, because it has a nautical theme. We have a huge fish tank with um, fish and live mermaids. Live mermaids. Cool. Yes, we have live mermaids. We even have a male mermaid. Not Ooh. that any of the guys are interested, but we have very beautiful mermaids. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, you can actually visit our website at Dive Bar, um, Dive Bar, uh, Dive Bar Sacramento dot com. There you go. And so you're a bouncer, so you have to toss some fools out of the club every yeah, now and then. Every now and then I do. If and the mermaids get too rough, you got to throw them out of the water. You got to <laughs> no. throw them back into the club. 
No, but sometimes I do have to break up cat fights. Oh, really? Yeah. That's got to be fun. Right? Yeah. And, um, How about you want to get involved in the fight when you see it? Oh, there's been a few times. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. This woman went after one girl, and instead of hitting her, she hit me, so oh. I had to take her out. <laughs> Good for you, and you're allowed to, because you're the bouncer. Yes. They can't kick you out. That's right. What's your signature move when you have to do that? Like, what's your, your go-to move to get these bitches to stop? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, it just varies with the different girls. I mean, sometimes when they're throwing punches, I wrap their arm around their back, like you said before. Like a chicken wing? Like a chicken wing, and push their butts out. Other times, I grab them by their hair, and you're out. Mm. You know, and sometimes that's what you have to, I mean, if they're full on in a cat fight, nobody's going to break it up. You just got to go rip, get out of there. You ever get hair extensions stuck in your fingernails? Oh, several times. Yes. Ugh. I'll keep my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ariane, do you ever use your wrestling and um, martial arts in your real life? I do this full time, so that would obviously be a yes. <laughs> so, but yeah. you don't. You do get in like bar fights or brawls or. Um, I the last real fight I got into was like uh, a year and a half ago with my sister in law. Oh, so. Yeah, and wow. yeah, I did. I did choke her out. I go go <laughs> plotted her. So. <laughs> I you can't punch family in the face that many times. Three times was enough. Then I choked her out. Why don't you demonstrate a go go plata on Chantel? Easy. Don't don't go crazy. But we're gonna show the okay. folk at home. Go go means throat, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. So. You okay. come up. You bring the foot over. Oh, keep your arm in. My arm in. You grab your foot and you straighten out. Ow, that's brutal. <laughs> There you go. Demonstrating. <laughs> yep. So that's the go-to move for um, choking out sister-in-laws. Because mm -hmm. they think they're winning when they get on top. Yeah. That's they're the like, good thing about girls that don't have experience. Yep. They grab your hair and they're like, ha ha, I'm winning. And then they go to sleep. <laughs> that was very cool. Yeah. And um, let's check my Twitter and see if anyone sent any more questions. Oh, I do have a bunch of questions on my Facebook that... These aren't really wrestling related. Do you guys mind answering bondage questions? Oh, I don't mind. Okay. Ooh, oh, they're so excited about that. Um, let me get in there. Uh, is there any any uh, stuff you want to plug while I'm pulling this up? As um, I zoom in on your Just tits? the website again, www.spectrumcustomrequest.com. We offer $50 intro customs for new clients. Wow. So... Um, that lets you know that we have faith in our product, we know it's good, and we offer it at 50 bucks for your first time because we are confident that you'll be coming back for more. So if you want to make your fantasy come to life, hop on over to the site. Very cool. And want to plug your your um, boxing stuff? Sure. Um, soon to be online again, badapple.com. It's competitive female boxing. And um, also divebarsacramento.com. Come visit me. Have a shot. <laughs> Yay, very cool. Okay, so we have some bondage uh, questions. What is was your first bondage experience like? Let's start with Ariana. Oh, Lordy. I don't know, probably messing around with a boyfriend and doing the typical, why don't you handcuff me thing. Oh. It was very sexy. And that was just to be kinky, or was it your idea or yeah. his idea? I actually like a little bit of abuse in bed. Well, Aww. I like a lot of bit of abuse. <laughs> so, yeah, that so was the beginning of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like to be roughed up, slapped around a little bit, so... It was fun for me. Well, how about you, Chantel? Um, in life or industry? Uh, your real life. First. My real life. My first time. Oh, God. That was like over 20 years ago. Um, my ex-boyfriend tied me up to the bed, legs sprawled out, hands on the headboard, and then left me there for <gasps> six hours. Oh, no. So you couldn't masturbate? I couldn't masturbate. That's horrible. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> And then he came back, and I was so frustrated that the moment I was involved into the actual sex act, it was just explosive. Wow. Yeah, because I was I was angry and horny and all those mixed emotions Six all the same hours. time. Yes. Did you sleep or were you awake the whole time? I was trying to get untied. Oh you know, my and there's a couple of times, yeah, I fell asleep, but for the most part, I was like, Ugh. I want to fuck. So yeah. do you get that kind of frustration when you wrestle? Because it, it's sometimes similar where you, you're you stuck in a hold and you can't get out. Do you oh, get frustrated yes. and does that turn you on? You get horny? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. Note to self. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What would it be for you to be tied up against your will by another wrestler? Yeah, that, 
That's happened a few times. I've done matches like that. I actually did a match where it was all about tying the other person. The first person to get all four appendages tied won the match. And that was competitive? Yes. That was real? And yes. did you win? Um, actually, it was a draw because after 40 minutes, we decided nobody was getting tied. <laughs> I was actually against VB Lane, so she's tough. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. Yeah. She's, shout out, VB yeah. Lane. Love you, VB. <laughs> cool. All right. And um, let's see. Would you be interested in shooting a only hogtie submissions competitive wrestling match? Um, I'm assuming that would be wrestling and the first person to get the person into a hogtie um, would be a, using rope or mm. if you're wearing a gi belt. That would be like at the belt. rodeo trying to hogtie a cow. Yeah. yeah. I think that would probably Not saying that the girl be, would be a cow, but. Yeah. You, that would probably have to be semi-competitive. Yeah. Because if you're. To competitively hogtie somebody, you either have to be much stronger and bigger than the other person, or more skilled. they're pretending it's competitive. Yeah, yeah. more skill even is harder because you know you can always pull one arm free when you're tying. Yep. they have the control to move. Mm -hmm. I would love to do it, but I think yeah, that'd be, be interesting to do. Yeah. Very. Um, which of the girls from We Bring It would you choose for an only hogtied submission competitive match, <laughs> and why would you pick this person? Now, I'm trying to think of the easiest person, and there isn't one. <laughs> I think you, because you, you're you super competitive. You're talking about me, not yes. you, the viewer. Me! Yeah. <laughs> she gets the crowd. Yes. <laughs> I would take on any of them in that type of match. I think it would be fun to try yeah. and see who ends up winning or losing. and Yeah. It would start a whole new competitive streak between the ladies. Yeah. I know this uh, interview is about you girls, but I'm going to chime in with my answer. Mm. After hearing uh, Chantel's answer about how frustrated she gets being tied up, I would pick her <laughs> because I wouldn't want to tie her up and see her get frustrated and then have her get all horny on me and then have her explode when I... Be sexy time. Yeah, right? sexy time. I'll go back to my place and sit in the hot tub. <laughs> what happens under the water stays under the water. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what would you do to Ariel X if you could get her tied up? Oh my god. That was actually my question. How do you even start that list? <laughs> I know. Oh I'm no, not supposed she's... to do naughty things, so. I can do any naughty she's thing. She's clean the fifth. Yeah. And she's saying everything. Wow. Everything. <laughs> if you were tied up, what would, would be the last thing you want a wrestler Being to do? Being tickled. Oh, tick we don't have, oh, you don't like being tickled. I am so ticklish. You don't even have to tickle me. You just have to go like this, and I freak out. I had an ex who used to hold me down. Good to know. And tickle me for, like, <laughs> 15 minutes and wouldn't let me go. Tickle I'm squishing your Ariel boobs. Ariel X. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, tickle. What about you? Um. Besides being left for six hours. I know. <laughs> um. I don't know. The last time anybody had me like pinned down, I mean, it really upset me when she spit. <gasps> that was just like, like purposely. Did she yeah. have bad breath? It's horrible. Oh my god! I, I, I don't know. It came out of nowhere, and I just picked her up, threw her over, and just. Good job. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Was it like the long drippy oh, spit no, where it's like? No. It was gross. <laughs> it was nasty. And then she just... suck it back up and then let it drip oh, back down. That's, like that's <laughs> torture. It's like Chinese that's, water torture. Yeah, that's that's disgusting. <laughs> no. Oh, Luke torture. That is very cool. Um. Okay. Well, those were questions we had from a big fan of. Oh, we bring it, Pepe. Hello, Pepe. And uh, we'll just say hi. And we want to say thank you to all the WeBringIt.com fans and that Ariana fans and Chantel Lace fans and the Catfight Live fans. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this 15-minute interview.